Autobots, transform and roll out. But Optimus, we can't. What is the problem? Energon hangover? No, it's the Ark. It's not real. You know that, right? I mean, the walls are pretty and all, but it's just cardboard. Cardboard? Our movies make millions of dollars, and all we get is freaking cardboard? F*** you, Michael Bay. That cheapskate probably spent all that money on explosions. Speaking of explosions, Optimus, check out my latest invention. I call it the Michael Bayatron. You just push this button and... No, wheel check. No! What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the ToyHacks.com Toy Stage Display Backdrop. I want to thank Aaron Black from RetroLabels.com and ToyHacks.com for sending me out this to review for you guys. You gotta check out ToyHacks.com if you're into adding something to your display for your action figures, whether it's Transformers, G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, He-Man, or others, uh, these are for you. These add a great display backdrop for your shelves or to take pictures. These range from so many different styles and sizes. This is the large HeroBot computer uh, stage, which is based on the ARC or Teletran 1 from Transformers G1. You can see that the art style on this is very nice. It really looks like the G1 cartoon, made of a nice cardstock that has a nice matte finish to it. The art style I really dig a lot. You can see all the different details. Now this is the large one. The large one is 12 inches high by 36 inches wide. Fold in this part to kind of have a more uh, inward display or you can have it very nice and wide for your nice wide shelves. Uh, the large one retails for $35. You can get a small version of this for 8 inches and 17.5 inches wide for $10. Or you can get the medium one which is 10 inches inches high and 26.5 inches wide for $25. These backdrops are perfectly in scale for any of your figures whether it's Transformers Masterpiece or Generations or you can even use G1. Even bigger characters like Ultra Magnus fit perfectly where it's not cut off there. You can see that you can get them nicely in frame. Toyhacks.com also sells tiles at $1.50 each that goes with each of these uh, backdrops. It completes the look. They have a tile that goes with any of the themes of any of these uh, backdrops. You can see they are made of a thinner uh, cardstock but still very durable and what's cool is that you do get these little toy hacks uh, adhesive stickers that you actually use to connect each, each piece together. You can just take these adhesives and just place it on the edges together to put them together so that way they stay in place. Now there's many different choices of backdrops on the toyhacks.com website besides some hero bot. We got evil bot command which is a replica of the Decepticon space. You can see it has also their computer screen right there. Very nice little touches and details right there. It's just very cool to go along with your Decepticons. And you can see it even has schematics for his seekers and just really nice uh, details. You can also get the Evilbot tiles to go along with it too. There works perfectly with your Masterpiece, Decepticons, or Generations, or G1. Another selection is Herobot Front, which actually looks just like the Ark on the outside with a nice mountain terrain. You can see the friend right there. Looks very awesome. You have some nice trees going on there. You got these nice dirty tiles that go along with it. This dirt terrain tile looks perfect when it goes with the hero bot. Another beautiful backdrop to go with your Masterpiece Transformers Generations or others. And besides the small, medium, large sizes you can use for wider shelves or displays, they do make sizes that fit perfectly with the IKEA D-Top. This is the 80s red style, which is a homage to the original Autobot packaging is made for a detox shell. This is 14.75 inches high by 18 and uh, 0.25 inches wide. Uh, these definitely fit nicely in the detox shelves which I'll show here in a second. We do got 80s purple which is the homage to the Decepticon uh, packaging from the 80s. Uh, very nice, awesome. You got Space Battle, which is a beautiful explosion like from the original artwork we got from uh, Transformers uh, G1 toys. Now if you got this in the standard small, medium, large, wide one, this was actually when you put it into a detox space, uh, it split into two different pictures. This is Cube Shelf A and Cube Shelf B would actually connect if you had two detox right next to each other, they would connect. Sadly, I don't have a display that I can show that 
that off, but you can see it on their website at toyhacks.com. And besides from Transformers themed displays, we also have ones you can use for G.I. Joe, like the American flag right here. You could use these for so many ones, like even Hot Toys Captain America. And for other action figures, whether it's Ninja Turtles or Batman themed, we got like rooftop ones. I've actually used these in many of my reviews before. Very nice. I really love the art. This is a rooftop uh, A. It's very nice. It even has like gargoyles, which is very perfect for a Batman display. You can also get these black tiles, which you can use for rooftop. These backdrops fit perfectly in the detop shelves. Not only do they pretty much fill up the shelf, but they also would hide any of those Theodore lights that you have right there. And see how much it adds to your display. Just looks so freaking cool right there. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. And you can also um, use it, like I said, for the G.I. Joe sideshow figures, and it works with great with Hot Toys too. I absolutely love what ToyHacks.com is doing with these. I always wanted some sort of backdrop to put in my toy displays, and for a person like me that uses these for video skits or photography, this is definitely up your alley. It just adds so much more to your action figures, make it feel like you're actually in the cartoon, adds so much more dimension to these already awesome action figures. I want to thank ToyHacks.com for sending out these to review. Check out ToyHacks.com for action figure displays for Transformers, G.I. Joe, He-Man, and many others. They have so many great choices and they take PayPal. I just strongly recommend these. I want to thank John Bailey, Voice of Honest Trailers for Voice Optimus Prime and Wheeljack in this review. Subscribe to him, link is in the description. And for more, check out my website at SeanXLong.com. Like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mayor Live Long and Love Life. This city just showed you it's full of people that what are you even real this isn't real it's just a cardboard what the hell wait if this is real maybe everything is real that means my parents are dead sorry bats but your parents are still dead no to have you michael bay i want you to tell your friends about me i'm batman i'm purple man wait wait that isn't right at least it isn't white <sighs> Good point. Nintendo said if I was all black, they couldn't see me on the screen. What? That's racist.